welcome everyone to this section of how to know if a number is divisible by 11. I would like to show some worked examples before the proof. Consider a number 5, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3. Also consider the odd terms. This is the first term, the third term, the fifth term. So these are the odd terms. And the even term likewise. Second, fourth, and the sixth. Now let them be given as the even terms. Now to know if a number is divisible by 11, the sum of the odd terms plus 10 times the sum of the even terms must be divisible by 11, such as follow. The odd terms, let's add them. Sum of odds, S of odds, sum of odds equal to 3 plus 5 plus 2 equal to 10. Sum of even likewise, sum of even equal to 4 plus 1 plus 5 equal to 10. Now, the sum of odd plus 10 times the sum of even must be divisible by 11 if the number is divisible by 11. So, sum of odd is 10 plus 10 times the sum of even. Sum of even is 10 also. So, we have 10 plus 10 times 10 is 100. 10 plus 100, which is equal to 110. Now, it is so obvious that 110 is divisible by 11. So, 110 is divisible by 11. It means that 5 to 1543 is divisible by 11. Another example. The odd terms. This, this, and this. And the even terms. This, this. Even. Now, the sum of odd. The sum of the odds is just 2 plus 2 plus 2. Which is equal to 6. And the sum of the even terms. Equal to. 1 plus 5, which is equal to 6. We have sum of odds is 6 plus 10 times the sum of even, which is 6. 6 plus 10 times 6, 60, which is equal to 66. Since 66 is divisible by 11, it means that 25212 is divisible by 11. One more before we proceed to the proof. 482351 The odd terms odd the even as well even terms now the sum of odds is equal to one plus three plus eight which is equal to 12 and the sum of even also is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 4 which is equal to 11 sum of odd is 12 plus 10 times the sum of even 11 we have 12 plus 110. Since 12 plus 110 is equal to 122, and 122 is not divisible by 11, so it means that 482351 is not divisible by 11 because it's leaves a remainder when divided. Every number can be represented in this form 10 raised power n plus 1, k of n plus 2, plus 10 raised power n, k of n plus 1, and so on. This is just to represent every number e.g. 12 
have 10 raised power 1 of 1 plus 2. So it means it will be taking the last two digits only 10 of k2 and k2 is 1 plus k1. k1 is the last term. So we have 2. So 10 of 1 plus 2. So this is generated for every number and we have to take it to mode 11 in order to get what we require. Now if the whole number is taken to t equal to 10 is n and so on. So what we have to do is to write t mode 11 and simplify it to the least. Now we have t mode 11 is equal to, now let's start from the last digit. K1 mode 11 remains K1. K1 mode 11. It remains the same. Plus 10 K2 mode 11 will be 10 because it is not still up to 11. So we have 10 K2 plus 100 mode 11 is 1 because we have 11 times 9 is 99. It remains 1 to meet up to 100. So 1k3 mode 11 so let's just write, just write k3 instead of writing 1k3 k3 mode 11 this is also to mode 11 plus 1000 mode 11 is also 10 but we put our k4 back k4 mode 11 and so on t mode 11 is equal to if you try this further if you try for that, you will notice that the first one is 1, the second one is 10, 1 again, the preceding one is also 10, and so on. So we have 1, 10, 1, 10, 1, 10, and so on. Now what we have to do here is just to generate, to bring together those ones that have 1 as coefficients. K1 plus K3 plus K5 plus, plus K of 2N plus 1 you know 10, 10 plus 1 is used as them for an odd function plus 10k2 plus 10k4 plus 10 cases so we have 10k2 plus 10k4 plus everything up to mode mode 11 C of mode 11 is we have k1 here k3 here k5 k7 and so on k1 plus k3 plus everything mode 11 here also let's bring out the common number which is 10 so we have k2 plus k4 plus and everything also here is in mode 11 but what will happen here if k1 plus k3 plus k5 and so on is zero if this is zero and k2 k4 k6 also is zero it means zero mode 11 which is zero plus 10 mode 11 which is zero is equal to zero now it means that for our number to be divisible by 11 or in mode 11 to be 0 our k1 k3 plus k5 plus k7 must be 0 and this also must be 0 so we can just say the sum of the odd terms must be divisible by 11 as the first one and the sum of the even terms multiplied by 10 must be divisible by 11 that's the only way we can have 0 in our odd terms and also 0 in our even terms so that's just a short method. Although the proof is not really necessary for you, we only need some ideas as embedded in these watches. So I wish you good luck.